I would like to introduce Resolution 0178X 2022 to acknowledge and support the peace efforts to stop human, right abuse, human rights abuses in Ethiopia and encourage Congress to pass the Ethiopia Peace and Stabilization Act of 2022. The bill aims to suspend any further United States financial and security assistance to the Ethiopian government in an effort to bring an end to the conflict taking place there. Columbus is home to thousands of Ethiopian immigrants, migrants, and refugees. Columbus's strength and vibrancy is based on our community's diversity. All people deserve to live in conflict-free zones and areas of peace. And the Columbus City Council stands in solidarity with the people of Tigray and Ethiopian immigrant and refugee communities around the world, and especially here in Columbus. We believe in fundamental human rights for all people and finding a peaceful resolution to the, in the Tigray Nation. Um, everyone deserves to feel safe. And I want to thank um, Moses Hayelum, who is here this uh, evening with us. I had the opportunity to go out and be in community with you and your church on one of the high holidays. And I believe breaking bread is one of the best ways to be proximate to each other and hearing the stories and knowing my own family came here out of conflict, out of a place seeking safety and seeking refuge. Um, I understand at least on a fundamental level, what your community is facing now when you're so far away from home, so far away from the people that you love and watching them struggle. So with that, I want to hand over the floor to you, Moses. Thank you, Council Member Lotus. Um, and good evening, Council President Hardin and Columbus City Council. My name is Moses Hayalom, and I am here on behalf of the Tigray community of Columbus. Thank you for adopting this resolution and recognizing humanitarian crisis in Ethiopia, particularly in Tigray. We appreciate you acknowledging and supporting peace efforts to stop human rights abuses in Ethiopia and encouraging Congress to pass H.R. 6600, the Ethiopia Stabilization, Peace, and Democracy Act of 2022, and Senate Resolution 3199. Since November 2020, there has been a devastating humanitarian crisis in Ethiopia's northernmost region, state Tigray. Just this past week, there have been four drone attacks in Tigray by the federal government on civilians targeting a neighborhood, Makela University, the only functioning hospital in the area, and a kindergarten that claimed seven, the seven lives of children. We just informed our community member on Thursday that her civilian sister had been killed in one of those recent indiscriminate drone strikes. We are all still mourning with her. Our community members have sleepless nights not knowing if their families have been impacted in any air raids or ones to come. Due to the telecommunications blackout since November 2020, they haven't been able to communicate with their families. In fact, the UN has called the restricted access to the Tigray region a de facto humanitarian aid blockade, and Amnesty International confirms this blockade also includes the shutdown of telecommunications, electricity, which is damaging the clean water supply, banking services, and cut off infrastructure access for aid workers to the region, all of which is hampering the humanitarian response and exacerbating the crisis. Furthermore, President Joe Biden released a statement about the ongoing pr crisis in northern Ethiopia, stating nearly one million people are living in famine-like conditions and millions more face acute food insecurity as a direct consequence of the violence. Humanitarian workers have been blocked, harassed, and killed. The President further emphasizes, I am appalled by the reports of mass murder, rape, and other sexual violence to terrorize civilian populations followed by sanctioning the individuals and entities perpetrating the violence and driving a humanitarian disaster. Chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, Senator Bob Menendez, is calling what is happening in Tigray a genocide. As many of us know, there are globally publicized crises occurring, but little attention has been focused on this war escalating in the Horn of Africa from the international community, despite the overwhelming evidence of a Tigrayan genocide over the past two years. So I thank you again for joining the aforementioned brave individuals who choose to speak out against the atrocities happening in Ethiopia, and for standing with the Tigray community of Columbus and its members, many of whom have not heard from their families in two years, and are still pushing every day and fighting every day to raise awareness for peace and to seek support from all levels of government to pass S3199 and HR6600 in hopes to reunite and restore broken links with their families. Thank you. Thank you, Moses. Are there any comments from my colleagues? 
I just wanted to say again, thank you. I know that you're here with your family and you're representing many more people here today. Thank you for your continued advocacy, not just for your people, but for all the people of Columbus. And thank you for everything that you do in our community and pouring into the vibrancy of Columbus. Thank you. So with that, I move for adoption. Second. Oh. Bankston, Barosa, Padilla, Brown, Dorrance, Faber, Remy, President Harden. Adopted. Thank you. Thank you.